Hello everybody. We are Harry Coder team. We are computer science and engineering students in uh, UC. Uh, my name is Muhammad Atif, and I will give you an overview about uh, our project. Uh, first of all, uh, many of us uh, face a big problem in some parking systems. So we came up with a solution with our uh, intelligent parking system. Uh, our system uh, works as uh, follows. When a car tries to enter the, the, the parking, if there, if there is still uh, available places, the gate will, uh, will open. If not, the gate will not open and uh, a red light will be uh, on. Uh, also, we have uh, a counter uh, which tells us uh, how many uh, free uh, places in the parking. Uh, now, uh, the, the, the slots in the parking, uh, if uh, there is a car in, uh, in this slot, uh, 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 a, red, a red light will be uh, on. Uh, if not, a green light will be on. Uh, uh, this is uh, just an overview about our project, and my friend uh, Mina will tell us about the functions uh, and the code uh, of our project. Hello, my name is Mina, and I will introduce with you now the functions of the sensors and uh, LED lights in our project. Uh, here's the sensors in our project, uh, always give one, and when it's cut, it gives zero. For example, for park slot one, the sensor uh, always, uh, the red light is on when the slot is empty. But if a car is uh, in front of the sensor, the red one is on now, uh, that indicates that uh, this slot is uh, uh, busy. The same for park slot one, uh, two. And for the gate, there exist also two uh, LED lights, one green that indicates that the gate can open and one uh, red that indicates that the gate is uh, closed. Here we have three sensors, uh, sensor 1 before the gate, sensor G uh, under the gate and sensor 2 after the gate. The gate, the function uh, the gate open wh when sensor 2 is cut that indicates that the car uh, tried to leave the park and uh, or uh, sensor G is cut that means that the car is under the gate uh, and uh, if a car is trying to enter the gate S1 is cut and uh, L, uh, the light green of the gate is on that means that there exists an empty space inside and the car can easily uh, enter. Thank you. Now is the part of Hazem. He will introduce the code of the project module. Hello, my name is Hazem, and now I'm going to explain you the code of the project. Uh, you can see here in the first line, where the, the module of the project it takes about five inputs and uh, outputs nine. The, it takes about, uh, takes the signal parking one and the signal parking two. And uh, the, three, the three signals here, the, which are the S1, uh, the signal of the gate, and S2. Uh, and there, there's an output, if you, if you notice here, which is called segment. It will uh, have a later use. But now we are going to instantiate a count. This count, it's a decremental count, which means it, uh, it counts num the number of available spots. Now, uh, at, uh, the code starts with always at uh, with signal parking one and signal parking two and the three the three gate sensors, uh, in, the in two and in one are e are equal to zero and one, which will be implemented in the edge bridge. My friend, my colleague uh, Rezi will explain uh, how it works later. In uh, green parking one is equal to uh, signal parking one and red parking one is equal to the negation uh, of uh, the green, while uh, and same uh, with the green parking two and S parking two. Now the count would, uh, would be the addition of the signal parking one and sig signal parking two. I will highlight it so you can see it. Now, uh, if we have the count is zero, which means we have no available uh, parking spots, then the green, the green gate light will be equal to zero, which means it, it will never light, while the red green light would, will always light. 
Now, if we have a parking spot available, which is one or two, and we have, don't have any th uh, three, so we will light the green green gate light, and the red gate light will be uh, will uh, not uh, turn on. Now, the gate opens at the negation of the signal uh, two, the negation of signal two, and the neg or the negation of signal signal gate, or the negation of signal one and green gate uh, and uh, the positive of green gate light, which means the gate on go. Now the seven signal decoder takes the num and the signals, the num which is ac actually the count from the project. Now uh, the seven signal decoder uh, studies the cases for the num. If it is zero, then the seven signal display in the Altera will display zero. If it is one, it, it will display one. If it is two, it will display two, and so on. Now, the default case, if the, there are, if it's not undefined, it will display nothing. Now, th this this is why we put seven signal decoder in the uh, project file. Now, I will let um, uh, my colleague Walid continue with the pain planning. Hello, my name is Walid Al Hafni, and I'm going to explain to you the pin assignments to and from the Altera board. And now I'm going to talk about the seven segment display on our Altera board. We are using the rightmost seven segment display, which shows the number of available parking slots in our project. And now on quarters two, the seven segment display is divided into seven segments. Each, seven, uh, each segment contains a specific pin location. All seven correspond to the rightmost seven segment display. And now I'm going to explain the GPIO pins on the Altera board, which corresponds to this space. But I'm going to explain it on a paper on, on, on the laptop due to the wires being complicated and to easily understand it. First of all, we can see as we explained before the seven segments, and these are the corresponding seven segment pins, which shows which lights the rightmost seven segment. And now we'll start with the gate, which corresponds to the bottom left uh, pin on the Altera board which is pin AH23. And now with the GGL, which corresponds to the third uh, right pin from the top, which is pin Y16. And now the GP1, which corresponds to the top right pin on the Altera board. And the GP2, which corresponds to the second top right pin on the Altera board. The GP1 pin is AC15, and the GP2 pin is Y17. And now we come to the inputs of the H bridge, which corresponds to the bottom right uh, in N1 and the bot, uh, pin and the second bottom right pin, which is N2. And both correspond to pin AG26 and pin AH26 according to the Altera board manual. And now we come to the RGL, which corresponds to the third left pin from the top, which is pin AC21 and the RP1 output pin which corresponds to the left top pin on the Altera board and the RP2 pin which corresponds to the second top left pin on the Altera board. The RP1 and the RP2 corresponds to pin AB22 and pin AB21. And now we come to our sensors inputs. The previous were outputs and now we're coming to the inputs. The S1 actually is the third is the third from the bottom right pin which corresponds to pin AG23 the S2 is the second pin on the Altera board from the bottom left which corresponds to pin AF20 the SG is the third bottom pin from the left on the Altera board which corresponds to pin AE20 and now we come to the SP1 and SP2 inputs which are the parking slots inputs the SP1 corresponds to the seventh bottom right pin, which is pin AE25, and the SP2 corresponds to the bottom seventh pin from the left, which is AH25. And now we're done with the pins, and, and my colleague Ahmad Ghazi will explain to you the wiring of the project. Uh, I'm Ahmad Ghazi, I will introduce to you the wiring of the project. Okay, first we will start with the sensors. Uh, we, in our project, we have five sensors, SP1, SP2, and the three sensors of the gate. Each sensor of the gate has a VCC and a ground. The VCC of all the sensors are connected to the 3.3 uh, uh, volt uh, from the Altera board. 
as well as the ground of all sensors is connected also to the ground of the alterable. board. Okay? The output signal of each sensor is connected to a certain uh, pin in the Altera, as Walid will uh, explain them. And uh, now for the uh, LEDs. Each LED gets its ground from the 3.3 uh, ground in the Altera board. And it, uh, the uh, VCC of the LED is connected from one of the pins of the uh, Altera board, as Walid already explained. Uh, here we have an uh, S-bridge. The uh, S-bridge has enable 1 and enable 2. These must be uh, opposite, so if N in 1 is uh, 0, in 2 will be 1, and that would allow us to control whether it's the uh, current will pass as clockwise or anti-clockwise. Here we do not want to control the clockwise or anti-clockwise, so we only introduced the uh, enable, we controlled only the enable. When the enable A of the motor A is uh, on, it will allow the uh, current which is uh, 5 volt coming from the uh, pins from the Altera board and here the ground of the Altera board as well this current will, pa will pass through the relay will go to the relay in order to be able to uh, open the relay or not according to the signal from the enable A here we have uh, a uh, 12 volt coming from a power supply and uh, here we have uh, two uh, signals one for the open the gate and one for the closing the gate. Here the gate is connected to the uh, to a relay. The these are the signals. One of them is for open and one for close. The signals of relay uh, coming out of the relay. One is a 12 volt connected here, and the other two are for open and close the relay, which are connected there. Here we have the power. We have the power supply, which is a 12 volt power supply. Okay, here is the 5 uh, volt relay. I'll explain the uh, operations of the relay on another relay. Here we have this pin is always connected to the 12 volt. Here it's connected to the close the gate. And here it's connected to open the gate. These two are the, uh, the output of motor A from the edge bridge. If, it's, uh, if it's the enable is 0, this will, will not be working. So it will automatically re remain at close the gate. If the edge bridge enable comes uh, 1, it will operate, uh, the relay will work, and the switch will shift from this one, connecting the power to the other one, which is open the gate. Okay, and uh, now I will leave you with Gamal to give you a demo of the project. Thank you for it. Hello, I'm Gamal Mustafa. I'm going to show you now a demo about uh, this project. Uh, first of all, uh, here is the counter. It here indicates too that there are two parking slots available. These lights, this green light indicate that there are parking slots available so a car can enter. This one indicates that this parking slot is available. It, uh, and this one indicates that this parking uh, slot is available. Uh, this one uh, becomes red if all parking slots are not available. And this for this parking slot and this for this parking slot. Here the counter indicating two. When a car tries to enter, it hits the sensor, so the gate opens. After that, it passes. The gate closes. When it parked here, the, red, the light converted to red, and the counter was decremented by one. So there is only one parking slot available. However, this green light is this light is still green because you can still enter. When another car tries to enter, now this parking slot becomes red and the counter is zero and this light is red so no another car can enter. So if a third car tries to enter, the gate will not open. Now we will exit the cars. When this car leaves the parking slot, its uh, color turns to green. The gate open and the car leaves. And the counter is incremented once more, it becomes one. The same goes for this car. When it leaves the parking slot, the red light is off and the green light is on.
now the counter is incremented to two once more this counter is incremented when the car leaves the parking slot not when it leaves uh, the whole parking system now this car which wasn't available which wasn't able to enter can enter easily because there are two parking slots available but now it became only one however Uh, that's all for our project. Uh, thank you for your time and uh, I hope that you liked our project. Thank you.